was our last day here and we decided to go to the swamp tour before we catch our flight. My grandma day right here. Walk oh like Ronald. Got the club going wild. Go crazy, go wild. We made it to the swamp tour area. Or we made it to, I don't even know the name. We just heard, we found this on Groupon. We woke up and we're like, just let's do the swamp tour and make sure we had enough time. So I found that on Groupon and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't far from the hotel. Called the Ultimate Swamp Adventures. About to go and check in. I don't know which one of these boats is ours, but hopefully it's not that one. <laughs> I'd rather get on location. We are on the boat. <laughs> Just waiting to take off. I think this tour is like an hour and 15 minutes. That building over there on the right in the distance are the pumping stations. Each one of those buildings moves 1.8 million cubic feet of water an hour. Right at about 2.6 million gallons. You don't want to be anywhere around when they turn those on. They sound the sirens, these red lights start flashing, it's all hell bristles. <laughs> they don't have to use them very often. They've actually closed these gates five times this year just due to high water. Because this area isn't tidal. It's actually wind driven. So when you get a sound wind, that, uh, excuse me, south wind, water comes in. North wind, water goes out. And you also notice the streets are also below the water line. That's why we got to keep the water out. These are the floodgates. When the water hits that three foot marker, you'll see right here, that's when they get shut. Now during Katrina, the water hit that eight foot marker and that was it. The way the winds came in, wow. south wind came in, pushed the water in as a storm surge. Once the hurricane made landfall, the north wind came in, pushed all that water right back out. Hmm. Literally nothing happened over here. Maybe a little wind damage, somebody might have lost some shingles on their roof, that's about it. And these pumping stations pumped are right here, right through the wall. You see the big pipes here, there's big pipes over there. Over. And we have about two hours before we have to head to the airport. So we're going to get something to eat, then head to the airport so we can head back to Texas. You, you eating grouper? Uh, yeah. Have y'all seen a group of groupers are big and they're hermaphrodites. They can be born a male and then they will turn into a female. <laughs> I learned that at an aquarium in, um, at the Atlantis. In Bahamas, they told us that. Redfish. I'm eating catfish. Cause that's the only fish I just really know of. I mean, salmon is cool. Um, I like cod. What other kind of fish I like? I don't know what kind of fish it is at um, Long John Silver's, but I like that too. What other kind of fish is that? Is that cod? So we that's have cod. arrived at We Go Cafe. Um, the tour guide from the Swamp Tour. He recommended this restaurant and said they have really nice, good fish and stuff. I'm about to eat, get our seafood platter, and we're gonna share it. But um, there's oysters. We don't eat that, but we're gonna try it. And there's stuffed crab. What's this? Uh, catfish and shrimp and hush puppies. Lego. We put the oysters in a separate little plate because. Trail didn't like it, and I know I wouldn't like it. Plus, it's like black on the inside. Yeah. No to oysters. You know what? 